Hi guys, how's it going? Right guys, today's video is a slightly different video, so I decided to record like a general advice and general tips and preparation for your GCSE Maths, okay, Paper 1 exam that's happening on Friday the 20th of May at 9am, okay, or 9.15am or 9.30am on Friday the 20th of May 2022. So firstly guys, what I want to say is obviously good luck guys, best wishes, okay, I hope everyone does well and I hope everything works out for everyone in terms of your GCC maths, okay, GCC English, GCC science, okay, and all your other subjects, okay, for maths, and I made this video today explicitly because I'm aware that this is like the first set of like public exams since 2019 actually yeah and it's the first time that, we, that we've had like summer exams obviously due to the horrible situation actually yeah, due, due to the whole coronavirus situation COVID-19 that had that took over our lives okay in 2020 and 2021 okay so what I want to say today okay is just some tips and advice okay for your preparation actually yeah, for paper one Okay, now firstly guys, okay, if you're watching this video, so I'm assuming that you're feeling nervous here, you're feeling anxious, and what I want to say is that everything is going to be okay, my first advice is, is that you give it your best shot, okay, you attempt all the questions that you feel comfortable with, whether it's higher tier or foundation, for Edexcel, HWA or OCR, try, okay, and do all the questions that you feel comfortable with first. Now, why am I saying this? I'm saying this because it will give you like a confidence booster. It will increase your confidence and your brain power and it will give you like a positive feeling and energy okay, for when you tackle the harder questions, okay, I would avoid doing questions that require a bit more thinking, okay, and the harder questions until right at the end, okay, the reason I say this is because your GC maths exam, okay, your grade is determined not by what questions you answer, but it's the total accumulation of how many marks that you get on all three papers, remember that GC maths here is made up of three papers, papers Paper 1 is non-calculator, paper 2 is calculator, and paper 3 is calculator. This is slightly different for OCR, but generally speaking, it's two calculator papers and one non-calculator paper. Okay, so that's why I say that, okay, I understand that some of you will be tempted and say, oh, well, I, I want to do like the harder questions first, okay, if that's something that you feel comfortable with, then by all means do that, but my personal advice, and what I would do if I was doing an exam, is do all the questions that I feel comfortable, so that for me would be like the first half of the paper, okay, the first half of a higher tier paper, or the first half of, of a foundation tier paper. Okay, right guys, my second advice is that make sure that you get like a good night's sleep guys and make sure that you have some good breakfast, okay, on the morning of the exam, okay, so please don't stay up actually too late like the night before, okay. Um, the exam, because I believe that sleep is a big thing actually, and it's quite important for you guys to get your sleep, okay, and like, yeah, and, and be like refreshed and have like restored energy for the exam, because it will give like thinking power, okay, and lots of like thinking time, okay, and you'll feel energetic, so my advice is to have um, some breakfast, even if you're someone that doesn't necessarily eat in the morning, have something light here, like a banana or some porridge, okay, and have, and drink plenty of water, because obviously it's quite warm now, this time of year this year and, and obviously it's been extremely hot these past few days this year in the UK okay so make sure that you're drinking plenty of water plenty of fluid prior to the exam okay um the third point that I was going to say is in terms of like answering your papers to them okay I would spend roughly one minute per mark okay so it is an 80 mark paper and it's an hour and a half unless you're given extra time okay in that case obviously yeah the, the advice is a bit different for them okay but spend a minute for a mark or um, two minutes for a mark if you're given extra time in your exam, okay, that's how the rough guidelines, okay, and make sure that you try and finish the paper around, I would say, 
with 20 minutes to spare so you, or 50 minutes to spare so you have time to check over your answers check over your workings okay and this leads me into my next point which is if you don't understand a question okay please show your full workings anyway because examiners are looking to award what we call method marks even if you don't get the final answer correct if you show full method marks then you will get the vast majority of the marks on the paper so if it's a six mark question you, you you might even get three or four marks which some of you might, might think well that's not a lot yet but the way i see it is the flip side i say okay well i've gained an, an extra three marks of it that is going to add to my overall grade okay so always show your full marks okay on the two three and four mark questions or even five mark questions or even six mark questions okay if you have any six mark questions Okay, so show your full workings, guys. Okay, and make sure that you utilize your formula sheets. Okay, so the advanced information obviously has put out a document. Okay, the examples have put out a document. Um, AQA edX art and OCR for the higher tier and foundation tier formula sheets. Make use of them, guys. Okay. Especially for, for paper two and paper three where you are gonna need like a calculator. Okay, I'm thinking those questions where it's the quadratic formula for higher T students this year or the um trigonometry year um soccer to actually yeah, if you're looking at right angle triangles okay or pythagoras okay it's also got i think the compound interest on there and it's also got like a probability formula on there as well and i, and I, th I think it's got one more and i can't remember which one it is okay but it's got roughly yeah, five or six formulas okay so make sure that you utilize that okay guys okay so yeah make, make sure that, that is like next year in the exam guys okay um the last few points obviously mentioned here is make sure that you have like the correct equipment for the exam so make sure you got a pen pencil ruler okay rubber um a calculator obviously a calculator is not need, needed for paper one actually yeah but make sure that you have a compass okay and a protractor and some tracing paper okay your schools your or colleges or the invigilators they will provide you with the mathematical equipment actually yeah, or the maths equipment that you will need Okay, so make sure that you, yeah, you, you ask for that, obviously, prior to the exam or during the exam. Okay, I'm sure they'll have, like, plenty of them, actually, to go around. Okay, um, so make sure that, they, they, that you have your equipment there. Okay, and lastly, um... I would personally, okay, so this is obviously like the day before the exam of it, like, I would not stay up late, guys, yeah, and do, like, last-minute revision, okay, I would avoid doing that, if it was me, I'd probably stop doing revision around, like, 7 o'clock, like, before, like, the next day, so like, around, like, 7 p.m., because I think, obviously, like, we as humans this year need, 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 like, time to obviously switch off a bit, and I think it's important that you have time to just, like, relax here, yeah. go for, like, a short walk, or go for, like, a run, or, yeah, t t t t t take, like, a hot bath or, or a cold shower, okay, if you like, but make sure that you get plenty of rest, guys, okay, and good luck, guys, and I hope everything goes well, actually, yeah, and I hope you smash your exams, and from me, okay, I want to say, like, a huge thank you for, obviously, reaching a thousand subscribers, actually, yeah, and, and going beyond that, okay, at the time of recording this, okay, but please, please continue subscribing, guys, continue liking, continue sharing, okay, and I want to say a huge thank you from me, from the channel, okay, um, for, obviously, like, showing you guys yeah okay of the hard work that i'm always willing to put in okay to help you guys with your exams okay and i genuinely believe in every single one of you okay and the last part that i'm going to say it may sound a bit negative actually, and I'm sorry to actually say actually, but if it doesn't go well, okay, please, 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 don't be hard on yourselves, guys, and don't dwell on it, okay, if it doesn't go well, then knock it on the chin, yeah, and say, okay, I'm going to work harder for paper two and paper three, okay, okay, like, like, remember that your papers in total, it is an accumulation, okay, so to hit that grade seven, whatever, or grade nine, or grade five, okay, it's a total number of marks on all three papers, so if paper one, God, God forbid, actually, it doesn't go very well you still have paper two and paper three to like rectify that okay um so that's my advice there okay so give it your best shot guys try your best okay um if you've, if you've been following me obviously then, then, then i really, really obviously wish you the best look at you and i want to just say thank you from me yeah for myself from the channel okay for obviously showing 
okay, the support and love, okay, on this channel, yeah, and I'm truly, truly grateful for all the likes, all the comments, all the sharing, okay, and yeah, it's just a huge thank you, and I want to give just a quick couple of like shout outs specifically to the Ginger Mathematicians, yeah, um, the GC Maths Tutor, Corbett Maths, Hegarty Maths, Tech Defendant, okay, Maths Chelsea, okay, the UK Maths Teacher, TL Maths, Tayyub Majid, okay, and also Bison Maths as well, okay, and there are others out there that I haven't given credit to, like Maths Explained as well, okay, but there are others out there that I, I want to just say like a huge thank you to actually, and thank you guys for obviously supporting me and showing like a really good like Maths platform and giving me like the time and passion and the energy to always like uh, make Maths videos actually, because I'm very, very passionate about Maths, okay, but that's it from, from me today guys, okay, thanks for watching, good luck guys, I hope you smash it, okay, and do let me know how you get on actually, okay, thank you so much for watching guys take care all the best and i'll catch up with you for paper two okay bye for now